So I just got home from work and I thought that today would be a pretty good day to answer some questions, specifically just one type of question that I get a lot pretty much any video that I post, whether that's on Instagram or YouTube, even when I'm shooting with friends. Of course, everyone who's interested wants to know what camera are you using, what lens is that, what do you carry for camera equipment in your backpack. So since I just got home and my bag is still packed, I thought it'd be really easy just to show you guys what's in my bag, what I carry on an everyday basis. So to start off, we can talk about this bag right here, the backpack that I use every day for shooting, for going to work, for everyday use. This is the Brevity Jumper. So I've actually been fortunate enough to team up with Brevity for a gifted partnership. They've actually sent me this bag to play around with and talk to you guys about. But honestly, since receiving it a few weeks ago, it has become my everyday bag. As you can see, it's in this really muted, earthy green tone that I actually really like. Also something that I really like about this backpack is that it just looks like an everyday backpack. If you saw me running around the city carrying this bag, you really wouldn't assume that I'm carrying thousands of dollars of camera gear in here. So the fact that it looks like a normal bag is a big plus for me. Also, just because of where I'm at in my life, I really need one bag to do it all. For the past few weeks, it really has been my go-to solution just for that everyday bag. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. Starting in the back here, like most bags these days, is the laptop compartment. And in here, I have my Surface Laptop 3 with a D-Brand skin on it. Fun fact, I actually don't edit on my laptop on the go. I actually have a desktop that you guys can kind of see in this corner here. But this is my main personal laptop for now, and I use it mainly for like emails, scheduling, planning, calendar, surfing, YouTube, that kind of stuff. Moving on, on the side here, I have my Nalgene. If you look at it, my friends and I always joke that it's like Harry the Platypus themed. I think this is supposed to be like a tripod holder on top of a water bottle holder because there's this little clip here that you can use to like strap something in, maybe a gimbal as well. But since I just came from work, I don't bring a tripod to work, obviously. I also noticed that there's additional spots on the bottom here, these two straps that you can use to strap in a tripod. Next, we can talk about this outer pocket here. This one is more of just like a organizer pocket. I like to keep all the small things in here because there's like the webbing that kind of keeps everything organized as well as just things that I need quickly and pull out more often from my bag. So first of all, most importantly, I think in here is my notebook. This is a Muji notebook that I bought from the Muji store. Me personally, I am a big fan of stationery. Good stationery, I think, does a lot for your productivity. And I think that Muji makes some of the best stationery out there. I use this for to-do lists, daily tasks, as well as planning every single video. Every video that you've seen this year has been planned in this book and is still in this book. To go with that and put all my genius ideas in there is none other than a Muji pen. Yeah, just a regular black Muji pen, 0.5 millimeters mints. I like to keep some kind of gum or something in my bag. Right now I have these breath mints. Carrying along the theme of staying fresh is a microfiber cloth. Emergency protein bar because sometimes I don't come home right after work and I get kind of hungry and I don't want to spend money on food. Sometimes I'll carry like an SSD and a dongle if I know I'm going to be like transferring footage after a shoot. But since I just came from work and I don't edit on this, I don't really need to carry that stuff around on a daily. Moving on to the bigger pouch up top here. This is kind of where I just carry any loose items or any bigger items that don't fit into any of these nicer compartments. So the main thing that I carry in here every single day is my headphones. I had like 60 or 70,000 minutes listened to on Spotify last year. So you know that I'm using these things like every single day, whether that's on the bus to work, at work, at the gym, or just like walking around. These are the Sony XM4s and I use them every single day. So something that I don't actually carry on a day-to-day -day basis, but I know fits into this bag and is really important to me as a YouTuber is my drone. This is the Mavic Mini 2. I purchased this a few years ago on Marketplace quite cheap. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I fly my drone every day. When I first got it, I did, I was really excited. Nowadays, I only bring it out when I know I'm gonna use it because as cool as a drone is, I do find it a little less useful than a regular camera. But when I do need it, the drone plus the controller basically just slot right into the top and I just have them sitting up there. Now for the more fun part, this is the main camera compartment. I really like how this bag allows you to split up the camera stuff from the regular stuff because really the last thing you want is your camera gear banging against all your other stuff, your pens and keys scratching your lenses. That's a nightmare. But in this bottom section, you can basically set up these camera compartments however you want. Currently, I have it set up in like a one camera, two lens and accessories kind of deal. Obviously, some of the most important gear is actually right there. It's actually you guys because my camera, microphone and lens are being used right now, but that would normally go in here. But other than that, my second lens that I own, I only own two, is the Tamron 17-70 f2.8. 
I bought this years ago. It was the first lens that I ever upgraded to from the kit lens. It's been my wide, medium, and telephoto all in one. I think it's a great little lens and definitely without it, I wouldn't be where I am today. My second lens is actually on the camera right now. I recently picked this up. It's a Sony 11 millimeter lens. This is kind of what I'm playing around with right now. I, I actually love it. It's great for vlogging and great for stuff like this. You just get to see the entire environment. So I just think it really adds something to these videos. And I am gonna be vlogging on this lens after this portion. Next, beside that, I usually carry my Peak Design camera strap. I also carry an ND filter. This is a KNF ND filter. I'm not sure which one, but you can't really go wrong with any of them. In really bright conditions, filming video outside, this is pretty much necessary. And the last two things I have in here, pretty self-explanatory. Lens cap for this lens. I don't want any scratches or dust. And this is my go-to vlogging mini tripod that I'll basically carry on the camera every single day unless I'm at home. Hey, so it's me. Quick, um, quick little break. I realize I'm editing this video right now and I, I, yeah, I just completely realized that I didn't even mention what camera I shoot on. So I used to shoot on the Sony a6400 that was an APS-C camera. I used that for like three years for everything, photos and videos. And now I shoot on a Sony a6700. I just upgraded maybe like five months ago and I absolutely love this camera. It has all the features I need. The only thing is it's not full frame, but full frame is a lot more expensive for lenses and the camera, so I'm not really there yet. So it was A6400 for then, A6700 now. Hope that clears it up. And that's pretty much it. This is the gear that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, some key parts or some minor things may change depending on what I'm doing. If I'm gonna go climb a mountain, like I'm probably not gonna bring my laptop. And if I'm just going to work or going to the gym, I probably don't need to bring any of the camera gear. That's why I've really been enjoying using this bag because it does all of those things. All of these inserts come out, I can use it like a normal backpack, but I can also use it as a gear bag. And if you guys are interested, make sure to check out the link in my description. It'll be the first link up there. It'll take you directly to the Brevity website where you can check out this bag, the one that I have specifically, as well as any other bags and any other colors. They have a lot. Okay, so I'm not sure if I really explained this properly earlier, but like I mentioned, I'm actually working right now. And on top of working a job here, I'm also taking just, just one course. Not an engineering course like I typically take, it's actually just an elective. In my major, you have to take a certain amount of electives in order to qualify for graduation. So right now, since I'm working and I'm not taking like a full engineering course load, I think it just makes sense and it's really common for a lot of students just to take your electives now instead of just stacking them all into one semester. So instead of taking like seven courses a semester, which is pretty normal for engineering, you get to take like six. And since I have an assignment coming up that's due tomorrow at the end of the week, I'm gonna spend the next little bit just wrapping that up. Melt me down in sun, my knowing stick like honey. It's uh, about 8 p.m. now, and normally this is when I would go to the gym. But unfortunately, like a couple weeks ago, I suffered a pretty bad ski injury on my elbow. I actually fractured it, and I've been out for a few weeks, and I'm still in the uh, no lifting period as suggested by the doctor. So that's sad, but instead I'm just gonna go home. Up in every pit, cause your leg won't ring sick. 